So here we have got two quadratic equations and they are having a common root different from x is equal to minus 1. This quadratic equation and this quadratic equation, they are having a common root. Suppose that common root is alpha. So can I find the value of alpha from these two equations? So can I subtract the second equation from the first equation guys? b alpha minus alpha minus 1 minus b that is equal to 0 over here. So we can say that this is the common root over here. Alpha is equal to b plus 1 and b minus 1. So from here I can take b as common. So b square plus 3 will be left and that is equal to 0. b can be equal to 0 or b square plus 3 is equal to 0 over here. So therefore the modulus of b or the absolute value of b over here is root 3. So here we have got two quadratic equations and they are having a common root different from x is equal to minus 1. And we have to find the value of modulus of b. So let's start doing it. You see this quadratic equation and this quadratic equation, they are having a common root. Suppose that common root is alpha, correct? So we can put alpha in this equation, it will satisfy this equation. So it will be alpha square plus b alpha minus 1 that is equal to 0. And if I put x is equal to alpha in this equation, it will also satisfy this equation, right? Because it's a root of this equation as well. So you will get alpha square plus alpha plus b that is equal to 0 over here. So can I find the value of alpha from these two equations? Suppose this is the first equation and this is the second equation. So can I subtract the second equation from the first equation guys? Equation 1 minus equation 2 over here. So you see alpha square and alpha square will get cancelled out. And you see it is b alpha, b alpha minus alpha minus 1 minus b that is equal to 0 over here, right? So what I can do, can I take alpha as common over here? So alpha into b minus 1, that is equal to b plus 1 over here. I hope this is clear. So from here, we can say that alpha is equal to b plus 1 upon b minus 1. So we can say that this is the common root over here. Alpha is equal to b plus 1 and b minus 1. Now we have to find the value of b over here. So we can put alpha is equal to b plus 1, b minus 1 in any one out of these two equations. So suppose I'm putting in the first equation itself, you can put over here or you can put over here as well. So alpha is equal to b plus 1 divided by b minus 1. So you see this is b plus 1 divided by b minus 1, the whole square if I'm putting in the first one plus b into b plus 1 upon b minus 1 over here. And then you have got minus 1 over here and that is equal to 0. So we can solve this equation guys for b. So let's solve this. So if I take the LCM of the denominators over here, we are going to get b minus 1 the whole square only, right? And over here it is b plus 1 the whole square. And then you'll get plus b into b plus 1 into b minus 1 minus, you'll be getting b minus 1 the whole square and that is equal to 0. I hope this is clear up till here. Let's simplify and solve this equation over here guys. So over here we'll be getting, we can use a plus b the whole square formula over here. You'll get b square plus 2b plus 1 and then we can simplify this. You'll get b into b square minus 1 and then this will give you, if you open up this thing, you'll get b square minus 2b plus 1. So if you open up the bracket, you'll get b square plus 2b minus 1 over here and in the denominator you are having b minus 1 the whole square and the whole thing is coming out to be equal to 0. So you see over here b square and b square will be cancelled out plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out. Let's simplify it further. So from here if I open up this bracket I will get b cube minus b, b cube minus b over here and you see this is 2b plus 2b. So that is coming out to be equal to 4b. And you see if the denominator is cross multiplied, it will be 0 into b minus 1 the whole square and that is equal to 0 itself. So over here, 
if I write it like this, b cube plus 3b, that is equal to 0 over here. So, b cube plus 3b is equal to 0 over here. Let's solve this thing, guys. So, we have got b cube plus 3b, that is equal to 0 over here. So, from here, I can take b as common. So, b square plus 3 will be left and that is equal to 0. So, you see two possibilities are there over here. b can be equal to 0 or b square plus 3 is equal to 0 over here. So, you see if I take b is equal to 0, what will happen? If I take b is equal to 0 over here, suppose I put b is equal to 0, I will get 0 plus 1 upon 0 minus 1. Therefore, the common root will come out to be equal to minus 1 over here. But in the question, it is mentioned that have a common root different from x is equal to minus 1. So, x is equal to minus 1 cannot be the common root, right? So, what does it mean? We have to neglect this value b is equal to 0, right? According to the question. So, from here, can I say that b square is equal to minus 3 over here? So, I can say that b will be equal to plus minus square root of minus 3. Now, square root of minus 3, can I write like this, guys? Plus minus iota root 3 over here. I hope this is clear. Now, in the question, it is being asked that we have to find the modulus of b. So, modulus of b over here will be modulus of plus minus iota root 3. I hope this is clear. So, basically, its modulus will be what? If you write it in this form, you see real part of this complex number is 0, but still I am writing it so as to make you understand. So, I want to find the modulus of this complex number. So, that will be what guys? Square root of 0 square plus or you can say plus minus over here square root of 3 the whole square, right? And you know that it will be positive only because square root can never give you a negative value. So, that will come out to be equal to root 3 only. So, therefore, the modulus of b or the absolute value of b over here is root 3. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.